when the, the Bible says, and when the people were come into the camp, the elders of Israel said, Wherefore hath the Lord smitten us today before the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of Shiloh unto us, that when it cometh among us, it may save us out of the hand of our enemies. Here we see the nation of Israel putting their confidence in a box instead of the God of the box. They got caught in just religious formalism. They got caught thinking the object of their faith would save them. The ark, that wooden box that was a part of the tabernacle, they thought that would save them and not the God of the ark. And if we're not careful, we too can get caught in the same formalism, the same dead orthodoxy, the same lifeless confidence in an it instead of a he, in an object instead of a person, in the vehicle of our faith instead of the subject of our faith, Jesus Christ. Your Bible reading is important, but that Blackback 66 can't just save you by some magical incantation by putting it on your coffee table. You must read it and believe it and trust it. Saying prayers is not some mystical incantation, some genie in the bottle. It's the God that hears prayer that delivers you. Going to church and having fellowship with the brethren is needful and commanded, but walking into a gathering of saints does not save you any more than grabbing the Ark of the Covenant could somehow repel the Philistines. You and I must always remember that these objects are vehicles of our faith to bring us to Jesus Christ. There are ways to get to Jesus Christ, and it's Jesus Christ, the God of the box, who will deliver you and not merely the box that you think contains God. Let us always put our faith in him and not be foolish to think it can save you.